Hey everyone, Mike Burke here with InsideRealEstatePhotography.com and in this video we're going to take a look at some new pretty mind-blowing AI powered features for Photoshop that's going to make the task of removing objects easier than ever, something right up our alley as real estate photographers. So as you probably noticed by now, AI is a huge thing these days. It's making its way into all kinds of things and the photography industry is one of them. Yeah, it's a little bit scary and people are talking about whether or not photographers are going to be replaced by AI one day. And I don't know, maybe that will happen, but I think that's a ways down the road. But for now, it's making amazing tools, amazing things happen for us and making our lives easier. So for now, I'm gonna embrace it, such as these new tools in Photoshop, which we're gonna take a look at in this video. Specifically, I'm talking about the new remove tool and new generative fill tool. The remove tool is now out of beta. It's in the regular version of Photoshop. Please make sure you're updated the most current version if you want access to that tool. But the generative fill tool is still only in Photoshop beta. So if you're not sure how to access or download Photoshop beta, I'll show you how to do so in a moment. But both of these tools were created for removing objects. The generative fill tool does other things as well, but these do it so effectively. Of course, we were able to remove objects before in Photoshop, but this makes it so much easier. Even one click easy in some instances, you're gonna be shocked at the results if you haven't seen these tools in action yet. So without further ado, let's jump into Photoshop and Photoshop beta and take a look at these tools. Before we continue on with this video, I just wanna share a quick word about our sponsor, PixelMob. Let's face it, if you're someone looking for editing help, trying to find a real estate photo editor can be a daunting task. There are so many of them out there and it's almost impossible to know which ones are trustworthy and do good work. That's where PixelMob comes in and helps you take the guesswork out of finding a reputable editor and connects you with the right people to do the job. PixelMob is a website that links you to available editors capable of doing just about any sort of real estate photo editing you can imagine, including HDR blending, flambient, virtual staging, object removal, etc. The best part of all is that PixelMob vets all the editors prior to allowing them onto their platform to ensure that they can indeed deliver on what they say they can. I also really like that there's a peer review system where photographers can rate the editors from one to five stars, giving you further tools and helping you choose the best editor to work with for your particular job. The editor also does not get paid until you are satisfied with your order. There's been such a sore need for something like PixelMob in our industry, which is why I teamed up with these guys to help get the word out because I think a lot of us could benefit from this. It's completely free to sign up, and if you use my link down in the description below, you'll receive a $12 credit towards your first order, so there's no reason not to at least give it a try. All right, so really quickly about accessing Photoshop Beta, if you open your Creative Cloud app here, of course you need to be subscribed to Adobe to be able to access this, and you go down here to Beta Apps, you'll see, and you'll see Photoshop Beta, and you can download it from here and just open it up like any of the other Adobe apps. So that's how you access Photoshop Beta. All right, so I'm gonna go over to Photoshop now. This is the regular version of Photoshop 2023. This is not the beta version. This is the most current version though. So if you wanna access the remove tool, you need this most current version. So if you come down here, you'll see the remove tool here under, under this little Band-Aid icon thing here. So that's how you access the remove tool. All right, so I have an image open here and you can see if I zoom in here, I have a, uh, you know, a tripod reflection here with my camera on it. So these are common things that we have to do. Oh, I'm always removing cameras from mirrors and reflections like this in the glass. So perfect example of a task that we as real estate photographers have to do almost on a daily basis. So with the remove tool selected, all you have to do with this is brush right over this reflection and let's see what it does here. Then let go and it's gonna do its processing and boom, it removed it and it's literally perfect. I don't have to do a single thing. Sometimes you might have to do a touch up or something, but just amazing. So much less frustrating than it was before to remove objects like this. All right, so now if you notice, there's like a squeegee thing here, like, you know, maybe we wanna remove that. Boom, removed, no problems whatsoever. Just really amazing stuff. Uh, say you didn't like, you know, this reflection. Take that out. It's just an incredible tool, as you can see. Now say if it wasn't a perfect remove, like say let's try to remove this like little bar here. Not that we would do this, but I'm just showing this as an example. Say we want to remove this. So yeah, see here in the middle, it's a little jaggedy. It's not really that perfect. You can refine this by just painting over it again a little bit here like this. And it will clean it up even more over here too. Boom, it fixed that like perfectly. So that's the remove tool. Pretty simple and straightforward, but super powerful and amazing. 
Now let's jump over to Photoshop beta and take a look at the generative fill tool. All right guys, so here you can see I have Photoshop beta now open here and this is a shot I took just the other day. It had this car in the driveway that was broken down. It could not be removed. Again, a situation that comes up for us as real estate photographers quite often. A lot of times I have this problem where a car can't be moved. Watch what we can do with this. So what I'm gonna do here is take the marquee tool or any selection tool you wanna use. I'm just gonna draw a box around this car. So the task of removing a car like this previously in Photoshop was such a pain in the neck. Maybe you use the Content Aware Fill tool, which this is a similar tool to Content Aware Fill, but now there's AI involved and it's just a way, way better version of Content Aware Fill, sort of, in a way, as you'll see in a minute if you're familiar with Content Aware Fill. But this was such a pain in the neck before. Maybe you would use Content Aware Fill. It would make a bit of a mess, but it would maybe fill in some of the area. And then you would have to take the Clone Stamp tool try to go over it with some areas and fix it up and try to make it look right. It might take you a long time to do and really frustrate you. But now with this tool, it makes it so much easier. Let's take a look. So once I draw this box, this new suggestion box thing, this is a new feature now in Photoshop. It's in the other current version of Photoshop too that's out now. Um, but it will automatically come up with generated fill here. So all you have to do is click on this. And now if you're, re this, this you can type in stuff like, you can give the AI sort of directions on what you want. Say if you wanted to generate a background and you wanted palm trees, you could type that in and it would generate it. But for this instance, since we're removing something, we don't want to type anything in there, we just want to leave it blank. So with it blank, I'm going to hit generate and let's see what it does. All right, so the generated fill tool did its thing. As you can see, it removed the car and you know generated all this part of the garage and this end of the house here. It did a really great job with that. Of course, it's not perfect. like. You know, the, the garage handle is missing. That could easily be met. Just take the clone stamp tool and sample here and just paint it in over here. You know, that's an easy fix. It did do some funky stuff over here with the fence. But you know what else is cool about this is that it gives you, look, you'll see one slash three here. It gives you three options. So if we go to the next variation here, that's much better with the fence. Look, I'll, I'll take that you know, any day. No one will ever notice anything wrong with that. So like if we zoom out here, that's pretty much perfect. Let's see the third variation. Now that's like a little bit of mess over here. But uh, this second variation is pretty good. Uh, no one would notice anything wrong with that really. Of course, there's some stuff over here too. We can remove too, uh, some balls and stuff. Removing a huge object like that, like a car so easily, that's, you know, an amazing feat. You know, it did really well. It's not perfect. I have to do some cleaning up here maybe, but like, that's an amazing thing. And it opens up a whole new world to us and our clients granting their request. I get asked all the time, hey, the car can't be moved. We don't have the keys or the car doesn't work. You know, this is a scenario that happens to me all the time. And now when a client asks, can you remove the car? Before I was like, eh, you know, probably not. Or maybe I can get one angle where it's just a little bit of the car in it that would be easy enough to remove. So I can be like, I'll give you one angle with no car in it probably, but the rest will have the car in it, something like that. Now this opens up the door for us to take the car out of maybe three different angles fairly easily and feasibly have a good looking image like, like this. I mean, it's, it's impressive. It's really impressive. And it's huge for us as real estate photographers because we're having to do this kind of stuff all the time. One last thing, you know, would really make this shot really cool is, you know, like maybe, you know, taking this and over here and, you know, just uh, generate a fill and like, you know, add a dinosaur real quick, you know. And now there's an awesome dinosaur in the front yard. This looks pretty darn good too. Look, and it gets the shadows right. Like, look at it, you know, they're all going the right way. Like the lighting's correct. It's, it's just an incredible tool. I'm just having fun with it here, just joking around, but you can type in whatever you want in there and it will generate like pretty much anything you can imagine. It's pretty amazing. It's just, it's a fun tool to mess around with. And it's also obviously very effective and powerful. So download the beta of Photoshop version and check it out and play around with it. It's a lot of fun and also really cool. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it and found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I really appreciate your support. Also take a look down in the description below. I got links to Pixel Mob, the sponsor of this video. Please check them out. Also, I got links to my own sky replacement pack, editing practice packs, Photoshop actions and presets, a lot of good stuff down there. Also a link to my Patreon page where you get access to my private Discord group where you can consult with me directly if you have any questions about real estate photography. A lot of good stuff down there and a lot of good resources. 
Thanks again so much for watching this video and I'll see you again soon on the next one.